Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 78 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about Lightroom Develop Presets. Now, those of you that have used Lightroom a little bit know that when you import images into Lightroom, Lightroom does very little to the image. It's expecting you to actually process the image. So you would go to the Develop module and you'd start sliding these sliders all over the place to process the image. Well, one thing that Lightroom does do by default for every image that is imported, at least every raw image, is in the detail panel, it'll add a sharpening amount of 25. It does that automatically to every image that is imported. Now, do you find that you do the same adjustment to your image time after time after time? Well, you could make it so Lightroom will automatically do it when you import it. So maybe you do a sharpening of 50 and noise reduction of 40, or maybe you go in the basic panel and for every single image you process, you turn clarity to 30 or something like that. And you do it all the time. Well, you could make it a default. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, one thing that I do for all my um, cameras that are not mirrorless, so my DSLRs, is I do lens corrections. So I remove chromatic aberration and I enable profile corrections. Now, um, those of you that don't know, mirror, most mirrorless cameras at least, and like micro four thirds cameras, they automatically will apply a lens correction to the raw file. So you don't check this box on those cameras. This would only be for my cameras that are DSLRs. The other thing I do, and this is a real quirk for me, is the sharpening, I take it down to zero. I do that on every image because I usually use a plugin for sharpening. So I have detail at zero and I put lens corrections and I click those two boxes all the time. Every single um, image I do that is from my DSLR. So I want to make that a default. So every time I import those images, that gets applied. Well, all you have to do is when you're in the develop module, adjust the sliders that you always adjust the way you want them then, like I just did, lens corrections and detail, then hold the alter option key in. It's alt if you have a PC, option if you have a Mac, and you'll see that this reset button turns into set default. So you click on that. When you click on that, you'll get this box, and it tells you that you're going to change the default setting used by Lightroom and Camera Raw for negative files with the following properties. The Nikon, D500. So a couple things. When you do this, if you use Camera Raw also, that's Photoshop's version of the Lightroom Develop module for RAW files. If you do use Camera Raw, it will do these uh, default settings in Camera Raw as well. So you're going to do it there. Now it's camera model specific. So I think that's great that it's camera model specific because I also use Fujifilm mirrorless cameras, and I don't want every one of those images that I import, import from my Fujifilm to enable profile corrections because, as I mentioned, it's already included in the RAW file and already applied to the image. So we don't want that checked in those cameras. So I would do a different default develop setting for that camera, my X-T1, my uh, X100T, and such, such those mirrorless uh, cameras. Now, this warning here is a bit confusing. It says, please note that these changes are not undoable. They are undoable. What that is referring to, with a lot of things in Lightroom, if you move a slider and you don't like where you moved it, you could hit Command or Control Z to undo it. Well, once I click this Update to Current Settings, I won't be able to hit Command or Control Z to undo this. What I would have to do is hold the Alter Option key in again click on that button again, get this thing, uh, this dialog box again, and then restore Adobe default settings. I'd click there and then it will reset everything back the way it was. So, or, you know, when, when Lightroom was out of the box. So I want to do this. So I'm going to click update current settings. Now, every new image I import that was shot on my Nikon D500 will have these settings done to it. The detail will be at zero and the lens corrections will have those two checkboxes checked. Now, don't worry, it's not going to apply the incorrect, um, incorrect lens to your image. It doesn't default this part. It's, it's going to know what lens you used. So 
in this specific picture, I used a Nikon 70 to 200 millimeter lens. If I use the same exact camera, but I use a Nikon, let's say, um, 50 millimeter lens, it'll know. It'll put the correct lens down here. It's just going to automatically click the boxes. So we're good to go on that. Now, one thing that it won't do is any images that are already in your library, it's not going to retroactively change all those settings for you. you st those are still going to have the old default settings in them. But let's say we go to this image here. And this was imported a while ago, so it didn't change these settings. But if you go down here and now you click Reset, it's actually going to reset it to your default settings. And you could see sharpening's at zero and lens corrections were applied. So the reset is now a new reset. It's your default settings. Now, if you want, you could take this even a step further. If you go up to the top menu, if you have a Mac, you would click on the Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu, and you want to go down to Preferences. And you want to go to the second tab from the left. It's the Presets tab. And at the very top, we have a checkbox that says Make Defaults Specific to Camera Serial Number. So not only then could you take it to just your Nikon D500, let's say, but if I had two or three Nikon D500s, I wish I did, but if I did, I could make it specific to the serial number. So if I have one Nikon D500 that I specifically use for wildlife photography, and I always bring detail down to zero, and I always click those two checkboxes, I could make it default so just that specific D500 will do those settings. If I have another D500, let's say, that I only use for portraiture and I always do different default settings for that type of image taken with that specific camera, that I could have a whole new default setting for that serial numbered camera. So it's really cool. You could have multiple default settings for every single camera you own for uh, the different serial numbers. Then you could take it even one step further. If you find that when you shoot with a specific ISO setting, and you, let's say, in that case, it's usually going to be noise reduction. Let's say you shoot, um, whenever you shoot at ISO 3200, you, uh, you uh, put noise reduction at 60. Well, you could make it specific by clicking this checkbox. Then any imports that are shot at ISO 3200, bam, you could right away apply the noise reduction to whatever you want it to be as a default. And again, if you just click the reset button on any images that were imported earlier, it will, will uh, get reset to those new develop module uh, presets or settings, default settings. If you want to reset everything, you could click this box here and that will reset. So if you have multiple cameras, multiple serial numbers, and even multiple ISOs, and you just want to get everything back the way it was when you bought Lightroom, you would click that box right there, this, this button right there. So that's it. That's really uh, kind of a, a cool way to save a little time. There's one minor drawback I just want to mention. If you're like me and you click these Remove Chromatic Aberration and Enable Profile Corrections, when you click on an image, so I'm on this image here, if I click on the very next image, sometimes you can see I got a very fast computer. If you have a slower computer, it takes a little while to render, and it will take even longer to render when lens corrections are enabled. So if you took like a thousand pictures and you're culling your images, when you imported the images, first of all, all those default settings are going to get applied and including the remove chromatic aberration and the enable profile corrections will be ent will be applied to each raw file. As you're culling the images, if you have, let's say, a thousand images, it might take a little longer for each image to render and for you to decide whether you want it or you want to you know get rid of it or delete it so it could slow you up a little bit if you have a lot of images and you don't have a really really fast computer so i just wanted to mention that but that's it i hope that made sense that's how you could create new default develop settings for all images that you import into lightroom for specific cameras you own and even possibly specific serial numbered cameras and even possibly different iso settings on those cameras so that's it thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.